Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to present the solution to example 10 on relative equilibrium of liquids. And this is the problem. A gasoline of specific gravity 0.69. A gasoline tank with elliptical ends um, 6 meters apart has its major axis horizontal 2.4 meters and minor axis vertical 1.8 meters. The tank is mounted on a truck moving with a constant acceleration of 2.4 meters per second square. If the pressure inside at the top portion of the tank is negative 5 kilopascal, so there is an initial pressure at the top portion negative 5 kilopascals because the tank should be closed. So there is a vacuum of negative 5 kilopascals. Determine the following, the force on the front elliptical end in kilonewtons, the force on the rear elliptical end in kilonewtons, and compute the accelerated force on the mass of gasoline. Neglect the weight of the tank. So we'll just consider the mass of gasoline here. So let's draw the figure. Of course, we'll just draw the tank. No need to draw the truck anymore because the tank is accelerated. Uh, the gasoline is accelerated inside this elliptical tank, 6 meters. And the ends are elliptical, 2.4 major axis horizontal and 1.8 minor axis vertical. So in other words, the semi-major axis is 1.2, half of 2.4, and the semi-minor axis is 0.9b, 0.9. So as a result of this acceleration, it will assume a surface here, beginning here, but the, take note that this surface or imaginary surface has an initial pressure of negative 5. So that's why we call the surface surface of equal pressure where the pressure is negative 5. If there's no mentioned pressure or the pressure is 0, simply 0, then that would be the surface of 0 pressure. So in this case, it is negative 5. So to answer, so let's call the theta and let's call this distance y. We need y. Then tangent theta is ax over g. And it is also equal to y over 6. So for the first question, tangent data is ax over g. And it is equal to y over 6. Where ax is 2.4, g is 9.81. Then we can compute y equal to 1.468 meters. Having found y, we can now compute the forces on the ends of the elliptical tank. First for the front end. So we call the force on the front end as F sub F. Since there is initial pressure, uh, I will use pressure at the centroid times area instead of gamma bar H because the product of gamma of gasoline and bar H is still pressure at the centroid. But there, since there is initial pressure of negative 5, so we will compute for the pressure at the centroid times area. So F F is pressure at the centroid of the elliptical end times the area of the ellipse, where area of ellipse is pi AB. A is 1.2, B is 0.9. So the pressure at the centroid of the front end is negative 5 plus specific weight of gasoline, which is 0 0.69 times 9.81, 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter, which is specific weight of water times the centroid is 0.9 below and the area is pi 1.2 times 0.9 so ff equals negative 5 plus 0.69 times 9.81 times distance 0.9 we go down 0.9 half of 1.8 in the area of the ellipse pi times ab pi 1.2 times 0.9 so from here we can solve f sub f force on the front end equal to 3.71 kilonewtons then for the second question uh, FR, force on the rear end, so it is also gamma pressure at the centroid times area, where the pressure at the centroid is negative 5 here, plus 0 0.69 times 9.81 times, we go down by Y, which is 1.468, then another 0 0.9 to reach the centroid of the ellipse, then the area pi times 1.2 times 0 0.9. 
So here we can solve FR equal to 37.42 kilonewtons. Then for the accelerated force and the mass of gasoline, so it should be the force in the direction of acceleration, FA. But that FA is also equal to the reverse effective force, which is just equal to mass times acceleration, mass of gasoline times acceleration. So instead, we compute the reverse effective force, mass times acceleration. So where acceleration is 2.4, the mass of gasoline is density of gasoline 0 0.69 times density of water 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter then times volume which is area of ellipse pi ab times length 6 meters then multiplied by ax and the result will be in newtons so that's why we had to divide everything by 1000 so density of the mass of gasoline is density 0 0.69 times 1000 so 690 kilograms per cubic meter for gasoline that's the density of gasoline the volume is pi ab so pi 1.2.9 times length 6 meters so this is the mass in kilograms times acceleration 2.4 so it becomes newtons then divide everything by 1,000 to convert it to kilonewton. So using the calculator, the accelerated force or the reverse effective force is 33.71 kilonewtons. So another way is the simpler way to solve this reverse effective force is simply you just get the difference between the force in the on the rear end and this force on the front end. That's also the reverse effective force. So reverse effective force is 37.42 minus 3.71. And it is also the accelerated force. You'll get the same answer just to check. Okay, so that's all for this problem. And this is also the last example that I uploaded for relative equilibrium of liquids for tanks linear acceleration linear acceleration